Art is always trundling around in this contested zone of visual representation, visual experience. There's a vapour trail on the surface of the water. Well, no, there isn't. But, you know, I've got that kind of silly eye where I see vapour trails in water. If I'm asked what do I do or what I am, and I say artist, but when I say it, I know that it's a very odd shaped building that I live in. The world is feeding all of us stuff all the time that we didn't mean to see. So if you don't really see, sense, smell, feel, get those little moments which could be of any category, they're not, they're not in one category, but that's who you meet, how you meet them, what you see, how you see it, you know, you've got to do something with those opportunities. They're frictive, there's a kind of something in there which you can make something of. And I think artists' job is to be very vigilant. And the form of vigilance, hilariously, can be, you could be nearly asleep and notice something. You know, creative people usually get there walking backwards. That's why the language of career paths is not only horrid to hear, it's just ridiculous, because humans are more interesting than career paths. I suppose I hope that the book would make young people patient because maybe that's all that skill is, you know. Skill is kind of giving something the time it takes to do it while simultaneously being critical. If you've hurt your finger and you try to do up a button, you become really fascinated by how good you are at doing up buttons, which you learned to do. You never think about it. There's a hell of a lot of that in being a functioning artist. These are all to do with eating. It's a kind of mad place setting. How weird is it that the cup is the wrong way up? 